OK, I just wanted to demonstrate a lesser known use for the Undo Brush tool, which is located here on the Tools panel. So traditionally, the Undo Brush tool can work with all of your various entries in the History panel, but it can also work with snapshots. So if I go ahead and go to View Studio Snapshots to expose the Snapshots panel, I'll show you quite an interesting idea for a workflow. So let's take this image. For my first revision of the image, I might go to Filters, Color, and say Auto Contrast, and then Filters, Color, Auto White Balance. OK, so I'll then save that as a new snapshot. I'll save that as 01. OK, so then on the history, I'll roll back to the beginning before I made those edits. So on the second attempt, let's try, say, a clarity filter. So I'll drag Clarity to the maximum. Then I'll also apply an HSL adjustment to add some saturation to the image. Now notice here, we've got lots of saturation within the subject itself, but we've got some quite horrific artifacting in the background here. Nevertheless, I'll move across to the Snapshots panel and save that as revision number two. So once again, I'll roll the history back to the beginning. Now for the third attempt, I'll sharpen the image. So this time I'll go to Unsharp Mask, and I'll choose a radius of one pixel, and a factor of, say, 3.5. So we're really trying to bring out the detail in the fur here. Click Apply, and then on my Snapshots panel, I'll call that revision number three. OK, so once again, I'll roll the history back. So we're now starting with the default base image again. Now, this time, I'll pick up the Undo Brush tool. And let's use a bigger brush width. So I'll also take the hardness down to 0%, which then means I have to compensate with a bigger brush width. So let's pick about 500 pixels. Now then. The Undo Brush tool can work with history steps. As you see here, we can enable this little camera icon, which then means the Undo Brush is working from that history step. However, we can also do the same with the Snapshots panel. So let's have a look at this, shall we? Let's set the Undo Brush source to the third snapshot. Now this was, if you remember, the Unsharp Mask. So we can then paint in from that snapshot to sharpen up the dog's face and fur. OK. Then the first snapshot was, of course, the Auto Contrast and Auto White Balance. So we might choose to apply that to the dog's darker areas of his coat. Like so. And we'll see there's a little bit of bleed into the white fur there, which perhaps we don't want. So in that case, we can just simply select the background snapshot and paint back in from that. OK, so then we have the second snapshot, which was the clarity and saturation. So we'll go over the color here and the name badge. Now, we also want to increase the saturation in the eye. So I'll just reduce the brush width. but. Note that we're going to overwrite one snapshot's results with another, so we're going to lose the sharpening effect in the eye. To mitigate that, we can blend the two snapshots together. So on the brush opacity here, I'll drop it down to 50%. And we can then see I'll just paint over the eye to bring it out without losing too much of that sharpness. So there we go. If we just have a look on the history panel and just roll back those changes, we'll see what we've done overall is quite subtle. 
But it's quite a useful little technique. If you want to try multiple approaches to editing your image, you're perhaps unsure about which direction you want to take it in, and you can blend in results from your different approaches and create an overall composite. So then, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.